everybody hello we're here at ensign peak we have a clock here that talks about the ensign peak being the top of the mountain of the house of the lord that isaiah talks about so we're just not making i'm not making this stuff up this is uh, mormon theology and uh <clears throat> we're here on a very special occasion move in so she you're out of the picture so because uh tomorrow morning Early tomorrow morning is the blood moon total lunar eclipse, um, which is both Christian cosmology and Jewish cosmology, and is one of the signs that the Lord has given us. So we do, we're here right now, getting ready to do it because uh, we feel like this is a special occasion that is actually starting today. And what we'll do is I'll offer prayer, Carl will offer prayer, and then we're going to blow the shofars. Mentor Jesus Christ, the Holy Messiah, Jehovah, we come up here to blow the shofar, to exercise the Aaronic priesthood, and bring people to remembrance that they'll be awakened, that they shall no longer be a wicked and adulterous generation, but they should repent and come unto the Lord with full purpose of heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Dear Almighty Father, it is amazing. You are amazing. Such a great and glorious God. We're here to give you honor and glory. And Father, we all realize that you use men on earth to do your will as it is in heaven. Father God, we have asked the people of Utah to surround the state of Cap Capitol so that the Constitution and the Bill of Rights would be restored, particularly the Tenth Amendment law. In just a few days, I should say at least a few months, in a few months anyway, the whole United States is going to be taken over by the Global Reset. Dear Father God, we say a prayer that the people of Utah would not only speak the good line because they're so knowledgeable, and we're concerned about the people because they are knowledgeable of you, and so knowledgeable about the Constitution. We need them to come and surround the state capitol, men, women, and children, dear Father God. And if that doesn't happen, we need you to bring Jesus Christ here, dear Father God, and the mighty army to take care of the wicked, whether they be Republican, Democrat, presidents, you name it, that are trying to take over the earth, the entire earth right now under a global reset. Dear Father, this is critical. We pray to you because we have so much faith in you and the power of you and our beloved brother, Jesus Christ, to whom we also pray right now. And we honor you with the sound of the shofar. Amen. Amen. 